Peace, back with another installment of Hip Hop History. This is volume 265. In this clip, you will hear DJ SNS speak about having songs from Illmatic before it actually came out. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, peace. Oh, there comes the Nas thing. They keep saying it was a leak of the album. It right. wasn't a leak at all. It wasn't a leak. It was my mixtape. <laughs> but I remember that mixtape. It was the, platinum the in the hood. It was like, well, what are we going to do now? It's like everybody's waiting for this Nas album to drop. Nah, this I, it's already I, got this shit I out. had seven songs. This still playing Hard to Tell Remix. I'm playing seven songs. Like I told you before, I had interns. All the labels used the same mastering New York. That's how I got my exclusives. I paid oh, them. Wow. Oh, he told. Oh, he told. I didn't That's think he was going to tell me he was getting a Wait, this that. is crazy. <laughs> they just called me. Yo, S I got soft for you. Huh? Oh, they was in your pocket then? It was in my pocket. Yeah. Exactly. So, wow. This is fucking they, they gave me the Nas album. From what we know of Nas at that time, it was live at the barbecue and then the buzz was crazy. Mm -hmm. Then I he guess. had halftime afterwards. There was the Source magazine that really hyped him up. But like, that was after he had already because dropped it. Was it. The that was after he dropped it. That was after, that was after, after he, he, he already dropped it. I was trying. I was trying to see what I the timeline was. It was already out in the streets. But Nas was. They was mad at me. I almost got them guys kicked off the label. Oh, shit. I was told that they was because the sales for Illmatic. It, it, it didn't do after the source did the write up. They expect and they got the five mics. Yeah, they expected the they album to be millions. Album. They thought it was gonna go platinum. Yeah, so they thought yeah, it was gonna yeah, go platinum. When yeah. it, went, it went gold, and they blamed a lot of that on me. But a lot of it too was the fact that uh, it wasn't really a lot of people really buying East Coast rap at that time anyway. 